You're back. Falcon franchise. And we're looking to get back in the the win column against Arizona. A very winnable game. We're both one and three. And speaking of being one and three, uh, last season we went fourteen and three. So essentially, we have to win thirteen games in a row. In order to keep the same record we did last year. In a situation where we arguably got worse with our players. Notably, the first spot that comes to mind is quarterback. We went from Matt Ryan to a combination of Drew Locke, Tyra Taylor, Chris Horn. And wide receivers, where Russell Gage is no longer on the team. Gotta think defensively we got better though, but they haven't really played like it. But we are not going to launch this game, so we're just going to sim to the next game. And we do lose 21-10. to 10. As we do have a player returning from injury. One of these players. As we'll go to the, the schedule quickly. Kyle Murray. We don't get to see his completions. Oh yeah, it's all the way over here. Well, be free for 151 in a touchdown. Drew Walkthrough for 296 a touchdown and interception. James Conner, pretty good game. Raheem Mostert, pretty okay. Kyler ran the ball pretty well. Drew Locke getting involved in the running game. Cordell Patterson didn't do very well. Keith Smith even got a carry. And so does Steve Wesley. Receiving? MVS had a great game, so did Calvin Ridley. Kyle Pitts had a good game, too. Raheem Mostert, pretty decent. Real passion, 116. AJ Sharp, not so much. Matt Hennessy and Justin Murray allowed. We might have to consider upgrading on those guys. Buda Baker was the one to the interception. That was JJ Walcott, three and a half sacks, Zach Allen, and Chino Jones. Kicking Young Goku, perfect. Punting. Thomas Morse said, and Presley Harvin both balled out. But we do lose that game. So already we can't do as good as we did last season. The Buccaneers are currently 5-0, and so that's going to be a tough game to play. I don't think we've played them yet this season. Connor Allen, he's been standing out, alright? Okay. What the tie linebacker, Connor Allen. If we go to scout call for Connor Allen. Prospects. They said he's a left outside linebacker. Put him on the favorite. I'm looking for centers probably at this point. Not very good ones. Right tackles definitely. We'll probably just, yeah. Quarterback we have set already for at least next season. Chris Lindstrom has played amazing. I like to give him a huge contract extension.
What did he want? Right, we got Gertie Jair back. Now, without further ado, we have our weekly strategy to go over. Matthew Stafford as our quarterback, Cam Akers as our running back. Ben Medium pass, I can. I think we should blitz counter. They do have a pretty good defense. Now I am gonna go look for a, a rookie wide receiver. I feel I could help the team out a bit. Oh, those look like age. I want one that, you know, has pretty solid uh speed. This guy right here. Okay, Julius Thomas. Let's remember that name. Ooh, George Claiborne. I want a rookie specifically since, you know, we can develop them better. Okay, Nick Chamberlain, 93, 89. This is a guy, 94, 91, or I want to sign George Claiborne. I want to cut you. Okay. Now, we just got to quickly make sure he's not starting over anyone in the lineup. All right, well, Philip Madden is not even appearing here. We got to go to the depth chart. There we go. There we go, and I want you to be the backup. Put Steve Wesley at third, punt returner. There we go. Now quickly, let's go back to roster. Just line up, make sure it's saved. We are updating our lineup a bit. All right, yep, Phil Madden is going to be our fifth wide receiver. And George Claiborne is our backup kick and punt returner. Now, let's see if the Rams can... Ooh, this is a good game to watch as well. Very similar in overall. Both teams coming into this game, very similar records. A win by the Rams would tie us in the records. The 
Baker will give the Rams the first win. And it is on Monday Night Football. And down at the 20 is the Rams. As we see Matthew Stafford take the field. We're going to give it off to, I believe that is Daryl Henderson for nine yards. Making it second and nine. As they gave it to Cam Akers. Got five on the play in a first down. They're going to check it down. To the Rel Henderson, and that's going to be a loss of five. As now second and fifteen, throw over the middle is complete. That is Robert Woods, I believe. Now, third and three, they hand it off to Cam Akers and losing a yard on the play. Making it fourth and three. Not enough for the first down. The punting unit is out there. Johnny Hecker, the punt. And that kick is going to bounce into the end zone for a touchback. Good work, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Drew off in terms of touchdown interception ratio not having the greatest season but he is very safe with the football when it comes down to you know he does not throw a lot of uh, passes that are super intensely covered he does complete majority of his passes which is good that goes for nowhere as second and ten and check it down again and that's gonna once again go nowhere so third and ten Drew Locke now two for two for zero yards third and ten Drew Locke throwing that's complete to Raheem Moser who's gonna be down at the 29 and that's gonna be just short of the first down making it four for one and the Falcons punting unit is out there as Tampa Bay does win their game, which I believe will improve them to perfect once again. As a fair catch on the play, they're going to start at their own 31 to Los Angeles for Angel. Second and three now, Matthew Stafford's going to throw, and that's going to be complete to Tyler Higby. We're going to give this ball to Darrell Henderson, take it up to the 48 for a gain of four, making it second and six, or seven, at the 48 yard line. We're going to ride back to him, except that's Cam Akers now. Takes it up to the 49 for a gain of, say, one and a half. Third and five now at the 49 yard line. And they're going to dump it off the to Tyler Higgins. He's going to truck his way forward to the 42 on, cross midfield for a first down. It's now being first and 10. Cam Akers gets a gain of three on the play as he bounces outside to the 39. Under a minute left to go in the first quarter. And 
Matthew Stafford's going to look to throw. And down he goes, back at midfield, back across it to the 48. Now he's going to go back across it. Third and 20, Stafford on the play by Jalen Phillips. Third and 20, Matthew Stafford's going deep. And that pass is going to be intercepted. That is 24, that is A.J. Terrell. Matthew Stafford threw it deep for the one-on-one. -on -one. And A.J. Terrell, receiver wasn't really looking. A.J. Terrell took full advantage. As Drew Locke now is going deep. And he has his man wide open and he overthrows him. And Aaron Donald is injured. That is a huge injury for the Rams. Second and ten now. Drew Locke. Can you get the snap? Going to dump it off to Raheem Moser. He's going to be down at the 24 for a gain of five. And that will take us to the end of the first quarter. Third and five now. Aaron Donald still not back in the game. Drew Locke is going deep. He has Calvin Ridley. And overthrowing him again. Or Calvin Ridley just stopped. As Preston Harvin punts the ball away. Maybe the ball was too far out of bounds where he couldn't really do anything. Like him return it here, and he's gonna break a tackle and take it up to the 29 yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. First and 10 out from 29. Gonna dump it off. Another call of that is Van Jefferson. Second and four now. Pass complete to Cooper Cup, but there is a penalty flag on the play. And it's pass interference on the defense on Kendall Sheffield. Kendall Sheffield, who is currently on the last year of his deal. with the Falcons not making a strong case for him to be extended first and 10 now from the 28 yard line that goes nowhere Loss of three on the play, second and 13 at the 31 yard line now. They're still in field goal range. Second and 13, that pass is going to be complete over the middle down to the 24 is Tyler Higby. Tyler Higby appears to be one of Matthew Stafford's favorite targets, if not his favorite. As there is going to be a screen play that's going to be stopped at the 25 for a loss of one by Darrell Henderson and AJ Terrell appears to be the one on the tackle. As the kick is up, 42 yards is good. Now returning the ball, Darrell Patterson. He's stopped at the 27. First and 10 now from the 27. AJ Terrell, or not AJ Terrell, Drew Locke. He's going deep again. He has his man. And that is the third time this game. A He's had a wide open man and just overthrew him. Second and 10. They're going to hand it off to Moser. He's going to take it up to a 29 for a gain of two. His first carry of the game. Come on. Somewhat late in the second quarter. Third and eight now. Drew Ox is going to look to throw. That pass is going to be complete. The Tajay Sharp at the 36, but that is a yard short of first down, and the punting unit is out there. Presley Harvin gets the punt away. And they're going to let that bounce. 
And that's going to be stopped at the four-yard line. Great punt on the play by Patrick Harvin. First and ten now. Matthew Stafford thrown on the run. Complete the power Higby. From the four to the twelve for a gain of eight. And an offensive lineman for the Los Angeles Rams is a good on the play. Now second and two. Matthew Stafford looking to throw. Completes it over to Cooper Cup at the 17 for a gain of five and a first down. Just over two and a half left to go in this quarter. And this half. First and ten. Matthew Stafford looking to throw. Grady Jarrett is getting close. And he's going to bring him down at the seven yard line for a loss of ten. And that will more than likely take us to the two minute warning, and it will. Second and 20 now from the seven yard line. A huge hole for Cam Akers, and he's going to break a tackle and keep going. One man to beat, number 21. And number 21 is going to shove him out of bounds at a 28-yard line. Huge gain on the play. They were worried about getting safety to now at the point where they could probably get a touchdown. Down at the 25 is Darrell Henderson. The Rams have really dominated the run game and in the passing game. They've really just focused on Tyler Higby and it seems to work out so far. As good as he throws, Dante Tower causing the pressure and can leave third and eight now at the 25 yard line. If they don't, you know, get a first down and try and chew the clock a bit, gotta worry that the Falcons will get the ball back and they will call in a timeout as they elected to run the ball. Brady Jarrett was there to stop it. Now, four for nine, 44 yard attempt. Kick is up and it is good. Alright, well, my microphone just made a weird noise, so I hope you guys can still hear me. So first and ten at the 22 with just over a minute remaining. Drew Ox is going to throw over the middle as complete to Kyle Pitts, taking it up to the 30 yard line for a gain of eight. Going to call our first timeout now with exactly one minute remaining, or their second timeout with exactly one minute remaining is the Falcons. Second and two now at the 30. They need 70 yards for a touchdown, and I'd say probably 40 for a field goal. No, not 40. Uh, 30. Well, now 25. Is they're going to dump it off to Kyle Pitts. He's going to fight to the 40-yard line. Hurry up on the play now. With just over 30 seconds left, you walk. Takes a snap. Looking to throw. And that is going to be intercepted. Intercepted by number 11. That is Darius Williams. Pass intended for Marquez out of scaling on the sideline. They're going to run a screen pass now. And he's going to take it up to the 45 for a play that seems like he could maybe go for like three yards, turn it into a somewhat decent game of six. But now taking their first time out with 20 seconds left. Need probably 15 yards for field goal range. And they're right at that spot now. Timeout Rams at the 41 yard line. With 14 seconds left and one timeout. The Rams probably have time for one inbound play and then a, a Hail Mary shot. And then they could choose to go for another Hail Mary or a field goal. Second and 10 now. 10 seconds left after Matthew Stafford barely escaping the sack. With the clock dwindling down, 
Down at the 43, you let him go out of bounds with Tyler Higby. And the field goal unit is out there for a 60 yarder. With the kick being up, it is going, going, and it is just short. Had the accuracy, but didn't have the leg. As we see the first half stats. The Rams are really dominating this game, whether the score says it or not. Here's a look at the stats. Carolina does beat the New Orleans Saints 10-7, which does help us out a slight bit in our division most notably the Ravens and Bengals 34 28 a very close game there the Washington at Giants Washington beats the Giants 42 38 another high scoring close game and we see San Francisco beating the Cardinals 20 to 3. The Cardinals who did beat the beat us last week, the Falcons. And I do believe we played the 49ers earlier in this season maybe. As kickoff is back, the Falcons do receive the second half kickoff. Getting at their own seven, but only getting to the 20 yard line. First and 10 now from the 20 yard line. We over the middle to the 41 by Tajay Sharp for a gain of 1 and 1. Tajay Sharp has been very quiet since we gave him that huge contract, two year contract extension. He was playing amazing until we gave him the contract extension, until, you know, he's kind of fallen off the face of the earth a bit. Second and nine now from the 46 yard line. First and ten now from the forty-eight. Down at the forty-four yard line, Cordero Patterson who gets a carry. Gain of four on the play. Being in the second and six. Second and six now. Drew off. That's wide open to Kyle Pitts, and he's gonna take it the whole way for a touchdown. Drew off finally doesn't overthrow oh, a player who's wide open. As you hear there, the Falcons fans now in this stadium really happy. Falcons fans have been given a tough season so far as they managed to go from winning the Super Bowl to a lackluster one and four and that pass is going to be complete all the way down to the 33 to Van Jefferson just when he fought the Falcons may have found momentum the Rams come screaming back as there is a penalty but Darrell Henderson is going to take it all the way up to the 21 yard line but there is a flag on the play and it's holding on the offense. Tyrell Crosby to left tackle. Here's the 20 now. They're going to do a toss to, I believe that's Cam Akers. He's going to be down at the 20 yard line. Or not the 20, uh, the 43. For no game, making it second and 20. They're going to give it to Darrell Henderson. He's going to take it up to the 37 for a gain of 6. They get it third and 14. 
Rams are in field goal range. Just, it is a somewhat deep kick. Going towards the end zone. And that pass is going to be intercepted. That is number 24. That is AJ Terrell. But it's going to be roughing the passer. Dante Fowler Jr. That gives the Rams a first down and takes away the interception. AJ Terrell on the play. Could have had his second interception of the game, but it gets wiped away by Dante Fowler Jr.'s roughing the passer. Throwing on the run, just throwing it away is Max Stafford. And Linval Joseph injured for the Falcons. Second and ten now. That pass is going to be complete. All the way for the touchdown. It's Van Jefferson maneuvering his way, and Cooper Cup does go down with an injury. There is a booth review, though. Maybe he stepped out of down. Oh, well, it apparently didn't take long for them to review it at all. And they're going to say overturned. Maybe he got not was down at the free yard line or stepped out of bounds. But it will not matter because they do find Tyler Higby for the immediate score after. And now going for two, trying to make this a seven-point game. Backing up a bit. But they're going to they're gonna throw here. But Foyasei to Luakun blows that up as I'd say in about two seconds or so got into the backfield so you got the the Falcons ran commit as Cordero Patterson is going to take that up to the 25 so first and 10 from the 25 yard line Drew Lock looks to throw Dumping it down to Kyle Pitts. He's down at the 31. Enough for six yards, making it second and four now. You off. Gonna look to throw. That is going to be complete to Tajay Sharp. Tajay Sharp gonna take it all the way to midfield. For a uh, first down and more. First and ten now. They're going to give it to Raheem Moser. He's going to take it up to the 47 for a gain of three. Making it a second and seven at the 47. The Falcons do not run the ball much. And that pass is going to be complete to Tajay Sharp to the 30 yard line. As he does drag the toes for the sideline catch. First and 10 now from the 30. With just over a minute and a half left to go in the, the third quarter. They're going to give it to Mostert. Or Patterson, I should say. He's going to get six. Making it second and four now at the 24. With just over a minute left to go in the third quarter. This game's 12 to 7. Very close game. But down goes Locke. Aaron Donald back in the game. Down at the 37. Aaron Donald got injured earlier. He is back out there playing, and he's already causing a wreck. That pass is going to be complete to Cordero Patterson, taking it up to the 25, and Campbell managing to stop him before he can get the first down. Now four from five, 42-yard field goal attempt for Young Hoku is good, making this score 12 to 10 right before the end of the third quarter. So going into this fourth quarter, assuming the Rams or Falcons do not get any more points before the quarter ends, it should be a two-point game and very close. Huh? As the Titans beat the Chargers 49-0, the Chargers going into this game are undefeated. First and ten now. We're going to give it to Cam Akers. going to... Be down at the 27 for a game or two, and that will take us to the end of the third. Start at the fourth quarter. We're second and eight at the 27. Matthew Stafford's gonna look to throw. Falcons only send free. And but wide open on the play is number two. That is Robert Woods to the 41 yard line for a first down. 
Fabian Moreau on the tackle. First and 10 now for Stafford. He's going to attend a pass for number 15, but overthrows him with him feeling a lot of pressure from both the middle and the left side. Second and 10 now for Stafford. Jalen Phillips, and uh, they're going to give full credit to Jalen Phillips for that sack. Dante Tower Jr. also got there, but they're not being credited. Third and 19 now from the 33. Pass is incomplete. Jalen Phillips, since joining this team, has been a very good. After only one year in the Dolphins, uh, Dolphins valued uh, Mike Davis over him. I believe Mike Davis has ended up in free agency as well, so maybe he you know, didn't make the final roster. First and 10 from the 18, Raheem Mostert down at the 17 for a loss of one. So essentially, at this point, the Falcons got Noah Igbenogane, who they converted from cornerback to free safety, and Jalen Phillips for free. Now, third and 15 after a loss of four on the play by Raheem Mostert. Drew Locke's going to look to throw. Feeling pressure and gonna be able to barely sneak out of the end zone. Probably by a half yard, avoiding the safety. And the Rams will get the ball across midfield already at the 45. A touchdown by the Rams will more than likely seal the deal. First and 10 now from the 45 yard line. Man in motion. Matthew Stafford's going to look to throw. Feeling pressure. It's going to be three men there. John Kaminsky gets credit for half a sack, and the other man is unknown. Second and 24 now at the 41 as they already go behind midfield after starting across it. They're going to complete it to Tyler Higby to the 47 for a gain of six, but. Out of bounds at the 47, making it third and 18. With four and a half left to go in the game, exactly. Pressure off the edge, and the hit as he throws. And it's going to be incomplete, intended for Tyler Higby. Dante Tower Jr. caused the pressure. And Tower, or not Tower, uh. Johnny Hecker punched the ball away. At the 24 yard line. First and 10 now. The Falcons need a field goal to take the lead, or they could try and go for a touchdown to give them an even better lead. That's going to be complete to the 36 yard line to Cordero Patterson. First and 10 now. They're going to toss it to Raheem Moser, who's going to take it to the 37 for a gain of one. Now, second and nine. Drew Locke going to look to throw. That pass is going to be complete to MDS up to midfield. His first catch of the game, I believe. His own, his second time being targeted, I believe, as well. The first time he got targeted, it did end up being an interception. First and 10 now from midfield. Drew Locke feels pressure. He's going to throw it. And wide open is Tajay Sharp taking it up to the 22-21 yard line. For a gain of 28 and a half, I'd say. First and 10 now at the 21. With just over two and a half to go. They're going to complete that pass to he Moser who's going to take it up to the eight yard line, making it first and goal now at the eight with two and a half to go. The Falcons could start chewing this clock. They do not have to run another play, but will they? They will. You walk and look the throw. And completing it to the four yard line is Tajay Sharp. With 2.03 left to go, they do have to run another play since he went out of bounds. And fighting to the two and a half yard line, I'd say, is Raheem Mostert. With third and goal now, 
Two minutes left to go. Both teams with all free timeouts. They're going to give it to Raheem Mostert. Raheem Mostert, he's going to get in for the touchdown. The extra point is up, and it is good, making this score 17 to 12. First and 10 now at 21 with a minute 53 left. The Rams need a touchdown. Matthew Stafford's going to look to throw. Falcons only send three and yet there's still pressure. And throwing it away is Stafford. Second and 10 now. That took a decent time off. Now it's only a minute 44. Matthew Stafford. He's going... Robert Woods and that is going to be complete for the first down down at the 34 yard line as he went out of bounds after Stafford looking to throw nearly caught and nearly intercepted on the play as second and ten screen pass goes nowhere and he's a timeout now. We're going to talk this one over, I guess. Third and ten. Stafford. He's throwing. And that pass is incomplete. Fourth and thirteen. Game not quite on the line, but it is very close. Matthew Stafford going to look to throw. Two and pressure, he's just going to throw it deep and open down the field. Now under a minute left to go. At the 36-yard line, Stafford's going to look to throw. He feels pressure. Down he goes. Dante Tower Jr. on the sack. No huddle. Just over 30 seconds left to go. Stafford. Going to need something. And down he goes by Grady Jarrett. Already back-to-back -back sacks. He's going to make this third and 29. The Rams need to try and get a chunk play for about 15 or so, but there is a penalty. Stafford going deep, and it's going to be an interception. AJ Terrell with the second interception, but there is a flag on the play. And it's holding on the offense. And electing to decline the penalty. The Falcons going to get this win, assuming nothing bad happens. With one kneel down, the Rams use their final timeout. AJ Terrell leaving this game with two interceptions. One of them to seal the game. And with that last kneel down right there, the Falcons could just run the clock out. And that's exactly what they will do. With the final score of 17 to 12. The Rams were so close to getting their first win. Drew Locke was 20 for 24, 223, a touchdown interception. Matthew Stafford was 23 for 34, uh, 228 yards, touchdown, two interceptions. Rushing-wise, Cam Akers was 9 for 72, 8.0 average. Raheem Mostert, 7.5, 0 0.7 average. Yikes. Terrell Henderson was 4 for 20, 5.0 average. Cordero Patterson was 3 for 16, 5.3 average. And Drew Locke was 2 for negative 2, negative 1 average. Tyro Higby was 7 for 38, 5.4 average and a touchdown. Tajay Sharp was 6 for 95, 15.8 average. Darrell Henderson, 6 for 21, 3.5 average. Robert Woods, 5 for 90, 18.0 average. Kyle Pitts, 5 for 67, 30.4 average and a touchdown. Dean Moser was 4 for 27, 6.7 average. Van Jefferson was 3 for 67, 22.3 average. Jero Patterson was 3 for 26, 8.6 average. MVS was 1 for 13, 13.0 average. Ben Jenkins 1 for 5, 5.0 average. Cooper Cup 1 for 5, 5.0 average. Who did get injured in the game, unfortunately? Let's hope that injury is not too severe. And Cam Akers 1 for 7, 7.0 average. Blocking wise, Rob Havenstein with two uh, free sacks allowed. Ooh, that's a lot. Jake Matthews with two allowed, Will Clapp, Tyler Crosby, 
And Austin Corbett all allowed one. Defensively. Two and a half sacks for Grady Jarrett, two for Dante Fowler, one for Aaron Donald, one for Deshaun Triplett, one for Jalen Phillips, half a sack for John Kaminsky, and yeah. And two interceptions for AJ Terrell, one for Darius Williams. Kicking, John Hawkins was two for three, Young Oku was one for one. Punting, and both sides were perfect on extra points. I don't even think the Rams did attempt one. Plus, Harvin was four for 197, 49.2 average, Johnny Hecker three for 142, 47.3 average. Pum returning, Cordero Passion was 1 for 4, 4.0 average. And Tavares Kelly was 2 for 7, 3.5 average. Kick return, 4 for 73, 18.2 average. Cordero Passion, 2 for 33, 16.5 average for Tavares Kelly. And that is going to do it. As we head over to next week. But first actually. Let's spend our staff points. There we go. We can now get additional focus players. You might have to focus on this side first as well. As we will send to next week. Chiefs are currently 4 and 2. We will. As we do, the GM does want to propose a free agent signing to us. But that will have to wait until next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I did, and I'll see you guys next time.